okay children now we will talk about the protection of uh, protection from lightning okay so first of all what what should be protected first of all we are talking about protection from lightning okay now now when we are talking about the protection from lightning so first of all we will talk about the protection of the buildings which i explained also so first of all we will talk about the protection from lightning how the tall buildings tall towers has to be protected children so we discuss about the lightning conductor in the tall buildings the lightning conductors has to be placed on the top okay on the top of the topmost part of the building okay so the li there lightning conductor has to be what it has to be uh, added over there it has to be placed over there so and how does it work children it has a fog gauge okay now whenever the charge get passed from clouds to this lightning conductor it has got a metal chip also and long uh, good conductor wire through this the charge can pass inside the earth isn't it so we'll talk about the lightning conductor now and how to protect the buildings so tall buildings towers and chimneys have lightning conductor what does all these tall objects has all these tall objects has what it has got lightning conductor now how does the lightning conductor work children and what is the structure of the lightning conductor that we will talk about here so the top of the lightning conductor okay the top of the lightning conductor is is fogged okay and has a metal chip and a long wire okay obviously what good conductor made up of what copper usually which is good conductor see children whatever i am writing over here it's not like i have not framed uh, sentences up to the mark little bit you know it is towards the gist okay so if the sentence formation is not totally completely done then please do it okay because the whole thing cannot be written on the blackboard as this topic is very very lengthy so copper what it is actually it is a good conductor of electricity isn't it okay so the top of the lightning conductor is fogged and has a metal chip and a long wire which is made up of copper which is a good conductor long wire which is has a metal which is buried deep inside where it is buried children where uh, this wire is taken it is buried inside the earth okay so what i have written tall building towers and chimneys have lightning conductors okay the top of the lightning conductor is fogged and has a metal chip and a long wire which is usually made up of copper which is very very good conductor of electricity which is buried deep inside the earth now what will happen now when the lightning will fall on the fog 
uh, forked edge or forked part or sharp part of the lightning conductor through the copper wire it will be passed to what to the surface of the earth ok. So, when the ok what is passed when the charge I can write when the charge is or when the charge passes through the clouds to the wire or to the lightning conductor ok then what happened children through long wire it passes into the earth through long wire this charge passes into the surface into the surface of the earth ok. Now, what is earthing children? This is only earthing you know? how can we define children? Earthing when the charge get passed through a uh, through an object to the earth ok what is earthing children when the charge get passed through, a, through an object to the earth. So, this is how the object is safe ok and if it the if this uh, lightning conductor is not there and when the charge is passed directly to that substance to that object then that object will burn because so much of heat is produced is not it. But if this lightning conductor is there the whole building or whole object can be saved as whatever charge will be passed it is going to pass where directly in the surface of the earth and it would not harm building it can be a great protection is not it this lightning conductor can act as a great protection. So, now we will just uh, have a quick gist of this ok and then we will talk about the other preventions what we can take. Uh, to prevent ourselves from the lightning ok. So, in this whole topic what we have discussed children we have discussed about the lightning. What is lightning? Lightning is nothing just a uh, what streak of uh, flash of light ok and even we can say that it is a spark electric spark which takes place in the sky is not it. Now, why does it takes place children? When the clouds uh, during the storm when the clouds float uh, these clouds are very heavy very dark and has got particles inside it ok. Now, when the wind flows through this clouds what happen the friction occurs between the particles of the clouds. Hmm? Now, the lighter particles they get they come on the upper side lighter one obviously whatever you make what will happen the lighter particles will come on the upper side and the heavier particles will go below. Hmm? So, the lighter particles will come on the upper side they develop positive part and the lighter part the heavier particles the heavy heavy one obviously they will go down they will come towards the down the below surface ok and they develop the negative charge. Now, when too much of charge is collected ok too much of positive too much of negative like the charges are too much heavy the ok then what happens children the flow of charge takes place ok the exchange of charge takes place when the opposite charges they comes in contact they collide with each other the streak of light can be seen. Hmm? Now, this streak of light can also be seen when the two clouds they collide with each other with the opposite charge. How two clouds can collide with the opposite charge children? So, we have discussed that the clouds they develop with charge 
positive here and negative here. Now when the other when the other cloud comes it will obviously have the positive over here. So when the two clouds with the opposite charge they collides with each other again the streak of light can be seen ok children. Now this is how the streak of light or the lightning can be seen in the sky. Now this strike of uh, streak or the lightning is of very short period is just momentary is not it. But due to this uh, streak of light ok what is happening children the heat which is produced ok the heat which is produced is what the heat is very high. When so much of heat is produced the layers which are near the clouds ok the layer of what children layer of air or the molecules of the air which is very near to the clouds they these layers this um, particles of the air they starts uh, you know the, the disturbance is created. Now this disturbance is created and the expansion also takes place and due to this rapid expansion the loud sound can be heard ok. Now the second thing what uh, this charges this collision the, just you know it does not just happen between the cloud and cloud or you know in the sky itself. This, uh, this charge it can pass to the tall buildings tall chimneys also. How does it pass children? Because when the clouds are very low and the tall buildings are obviously the, the object is tall and the distance between the object and the cloud get decreased is not it if the building is tall if the object is very tall. When the distance get decreased then what happen children the negative charge is there at the lower part of the clouds negative charge is here is not it and the object the taller objects at the top they will develop the positive charge. Why because here when it is negative the positive charges from that part get uh, you know it gets attracted and they start accumulating at one place. Now again two opposite charges are developed and the flow starts from the cloud the charge comes to the that building or whatever long object we are talking about. When the charge passes from cloud to the object what will happen the streak of light will be seen but as this has got lot of heat the building can catch fire the tree will catch fire is not it. So all these objects will catch fire and will really uh, uh, have like you know we will have lot of destruction if the building catches fire lot of destruction will be there. So how this destruction can be prevented children this destruction can be prevented by use of lightning conductor. Now what is lightning conductor children it is an instrument or a device which uh, what does it do children which passes the charge ok which passes the charge directly from the clouds ok if it catches. So it passes from clouds to where? to the directly surface of the earth or inside the earth ok. So how does it uh, work children? It has got a fork edge, it has got a sharp edge ok. It has it can be like this, it can be just like this ok or it can be even just like this or even like this very sharp. That means it will be having sharp edge ok. So it can have two sharp edges like this also. So it depends uh, upon the type of the design ok. But definitely it will have the sharp edge. Now when the sharp edge uh, lightning conductor is used ok. So lightning conductor due to lightning conductor when the charge comes over here from the cloud it will come to this part where the copper strip is there and from here it will the wire this long wire is there one long wire will be passing from here and this wire definitely will be buried inside the surface of the earth. Now see this is a long wire which will be buried inside the surface of the earth. So when the charge comes over here it directly passes to the, the inner part of the earth and the building can be protected and the building will not catch fire ok. So this is a one very important uh, you know part how the building can be protected from catching fire. Now we will talk about some other measures how we can protect ourselves is not it. So we will talk about the other things first you please note this down. So we were talking about the protection ok. So first of all we we'll discuss about the protection of the buildings ok the tall objects we we'll discuss about that. Now we will discuss about our protection because our protection is also equally important is not it. So 
See, always remember, whenever lightning is there, we should not go out of our houses. Okay. So, what is the reason, children, why we should not go out of the houses? Or if we are there inside the house, then what has to be done? So, we'll discuss about all this thing. So, first of all, now if we are there inside our house, so what has to be done, children? First of all, all the electrical uh, gadgets, you know, the devices which are uh, not so important to run like television, like fridge, all should be switched off, isn't it? So, all these should be switched off because if all these, you know, are there uh, in the working condition, in the running condition, then there is greater chance of uh, the spark to get converted into fire, okay. So, now the next one is uh, when uh, you are there inside the door, uh, inside the house, the doors and the uh, windows should be closed. It should not be the case, you know, sometimes the parents, they come and say, and they keep on saying, uh, you know, come inside uh, or keep this uh, door closed or something like that. But, you know, children, they, ha they are very curious. They will love to go on the terrace to see the lightning, isn't it? It happens, no, that the parents are continuously asking to be inside, but the children, they are, uh, what they will do? They will just move out. They will go on the terrace and they will stand and they will look the uh, look at lightning so it should be totally avoided it can be really very very dangerous okay so now uh, even the you know it is told that even the bath um, should be avoided one should not take bath uh, when lot of lightning is there geysers and all such kind of appliances should be uh, switched off okay now if uh, we are out of the house we should never take shelter under very tall tree okay or even in under the tall buildings or uh, tall towers you know so we should not take shelter uh, under such kind of long structures because these may catch fire uh, as electric uh, as just we have uh, discussed how the electric charge can pass through them and as lot of heat is there so it can catch fire isn't it so, we should always try and should be, uh, like, you know, we should stay away from all this thing. Now, again, during lightning, the umbrellas should not be carried, children. During lightning, the umbrellas should not be carried. Now, why the umbrellas should not be carried? Because, again, it has a sharp end, okay, sharp edge and it is good conductor of electricity. So, uh, it should not, it should be really avoided. So, we will just keep on writing also, you know. So, what was our first point children that in all tall buildings in all tall buildings lightning conductor should be placed ok lightning conductors should be placed now what can be the second point should remain should remain inside house inside the house during lightning and electrical appliances should be switched off. Okay, then, then what I told, never visit the terrace, okay, never stand on the roof or top of the building to just enjoy lightning 
okay it because it is not the source of entertainment children it can be the matter of life and death so it should be totally avoided okay bath should be avoided bath should be avoided umbrella umbrellas should not be used okay umbrellas should not be used now if we are out then what precautions shall we uh, we are supposed to take if we are out should never take shelter under tall objects okay na it is understood that tall objects means tall chimneys tall trees tall buildings isn't it okay so now if you are struck if you are stuck in a part uh, like when lot of lightning is happening children and you are not able to reach your home okay now you are there on the ground itself you are there on the ground where there is only like you know where there is nothing no structure is there and no structure means you cannot go inside any building there is no building okay and you are like this ground is there and lot of trees are there in spite of taking uh, shelter under the long trees if you want to take under the tree then prefer the smallest one prefer the smallest one okay now next thing if even the trees are not there only the ground is there and lot of lighting is there so the best way is to sit in a position which kind of a position like just uh, on the two legs okay with the hands on your uh, uh, the same legs or even you can put your knees down and hands on your knees okay never try to lie down what happen children why we shouldn't lie down when you lie down this much of your body part is in contact isn't it the surface area get increased we have read in one of the chapter the surface area when you lie down more of your surface comes in like you know becomes uh, it becomes uh, exp it, it is exposed isn't it and to kneel down and to keep your hands with you will be the safest way to uh, sit to cover yourself to bring least body part into exposure okay of the lightning so what are the two parts two points which were discussed if shelter has to be taken under the tree itself under the tree because there is no option all trees are only there okay so if shelter has to be taken under the tree the smallest tree should be chosen should be chosen or choose okay and sit in the position that can that can expose your body least what does it mean children that sit in the position that can expose your body least what exposure over here means children that you should sit in a position which can keep you safe from the lightning isn't it which can which brings the uh, your body part least in contact with the lightning isn't it so this is the way so sit in the po position that can expose your body 
least and you will you can be the least target okay you can be the least target okay now one more point which is attached to this one only so never lie down never lie down on the ground okay never lie down on the ground and okay one more point which i am supposed to write is that like if you are traveling okay if you are there in the auto automobiles if it is open then it can be very dangerous but if you are there in the car so keep your uh, doors and windows closed and then you can move okay so the close mobile uh, close automobiles is the safest way okay to or safest way okay so what are the different points which we have discussed now children see these are the points which are required to uh, prevent ourselves from the lightning so what are the different ways okay so we are talking about the protection from lightning okay first of all all the tall buildings tall towers tall chimneys should have lightning conductor okay it should have lightning conductor because just now we have studied that how lightning conductor conductor can prevent the uh, building or the structure from being uh, caught by the uh, charge or the lightning okay now second is should remain inside the house be calm be inside your house for the need to go out and to run here and there be inside your house okay and during that time also all the electrical appliances should not be used like your computers your your um, you know your uh, <laughs> televisions your refrigerators so it should all be avoided sometimes you know the mind gets stuck somewhere ki oh what are the electrical appliances okay so now uh, never stand on the roof or the top to enjoy never go on the terrace to enjoy yeah i'll see the lightning so please don't do that listen to your parents okay now bath should be avoided okay it's lightning and so let's have bath so please avoid that okay umbrellas should not be used i told you the reason also why the umbrellas shouldn't be used okay now uh, should not be used means i'm not saying that uh, inside the house when you are out of the house umbrellas should be avoided now if you are out should never take shelter under the tall objects you know it very well because in this lecture we have uh, com- you know we are totally and completely inside uh, into this only tall objects tall towers tall buildings tall trees so i think now it is very clear to you uh, this thing is uh, framed in your minds that should be avoided what should be avoided tall objects if shelter has to be taken under the tree like there is no nothing is there only trees are there you are you are stuck in such a part that only trees are there nothing is there you have to take shelter somewhere then the smallest one has to be preferred do not go under the tall trees again the word tall tall doesn't has anything any magic inside this the thing is that the distance between the cloud and the tall object get reduced which is very very dangerous because the charge can flow very very easily and the object can catch fire it can be disastrous for any person who is standing inside the tall object okay now sit in the position that can expose your body least and you can be the least target okay to sit on the legs to fold your legs and sit and to keep your hands on your legs okay or to kneel uh, just sit in a kneel down position or uh, to sit on the two legs and just keep your hands within you okay on your body part itself so it will make you let's you know small target okay now never lie down on the ground because the surface area will increase and then it has greater chances of being caught okay so what is the next one last one closed automobiles is the safest way 
okay to be in the closed automobiles if you are traveling if you are going somewhere and you are on the bike or something like that then it is very dangerous it can be dangerous but the closed okay this is t but you are there in your car so uh, no uh, just keep your uh, windows of the car uh, this, that means the doors and the windows of the car uh, shut okay and really it can be very very uh, dangerous if you are moving on in the open car open vehicle so that should be avoided but at least if you are moving in your a uh, normal car so the doors and the windows should be kept closed so this is how we can prevent ourselves from the lightning this was all about the lightning please note all this and then uh, after just reading it once we can shift uh, we can move to the another topic okay so please note this points